What are the three top risks investors should heed this year? In our view, they are President Trump's policies, rising interest rates, and geopolitical shocks. Let's look at how each could upset the apple cart. Let's start with the President's policies. The risks here are twofold. First, stim stimulative fiscal policies from lower taxes and lighter regulation could be severely delayed. Congress will likely need to pass a new health care bill before it can get down to the nitty-gritty of budget making, given potential savings from that bill. The administration and Congress could also get distracted by hearings related to Russia's possible meddling in the U.S. election. The second policy risk stems from possible protectionist measures. These would slow economic growth on both sides of the border. A proposed border adjustment tax would seriously raise the cost of Canadian companies doing business in the U.S. The U.S. would also get hurt if trade tariffs or taxes pushed up import costs and the greenback while disrupting business supply chains. We still see a reasonable chance that tax cuts and reforms will be implemented by early 2018. This should underpin U.S. business sentiment and investment. We also expect the administration to walk back some of its protectionist talk. Most likely, much-needed refinements will bring the two-decade-old NAFTA deal into the modern age. As well, the odds of a border adjustment tax appear low given the lack of enthusiasm in both the Senate and White House. The second major risk investors need to watch is higher interest rates. Almost every major correction in equities is preceded by recession, and almost every recession is preceded by Fed tightening. Barring a sustained economic slowdown, the Fed appears intent on returning interest rates to normal levels. Look for two more rate hikes this year and a few more next year. Still, as long as inflation stays low, the Fed is unlikely to move fast, and that should reduce the chance of a recession. In fact, despite rising wages and growing labor shortages, U.S. inflation has retreated recently in part because of aggressive online competition, advanced automation, and the sharing economy. Advanced automation is also holding down wages in manufacturing and retail, the former because of robots using artificial intelligence, and the latter due to the proliferation of automated checkout counters and ordering kiosks. The third major risk for investors relates to potential geopolitical events. With his long-range missile tests, North Korea's leader keeps poking President Trump in the ribs. Skilled diplomacy involving China and Russia will be needed to prevent an escalation of tensions. Russia's help will also be required to allay potential conflict between the U.S. and Syrian governments. In Europe, Italy could hold general elections this year. The increasingly popular Five Star Movement has threatened to pull the country out of the single currency market if it wins the vote, and that would royal global financial markets. To wrap up, remember these are just risks. If they don't pan out, the economic backdrop should remain favorable for equities. Still, investors will need to pay close attention to the President's policies, trends in interest rates, and global politics in the event risks become reality. Thank you.